Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how we can filter events using tags. So this is related to our event tags add-on. Previously, I showed you how to create tags or add tags to an event, how to install the event tag add-on and activate it as well. We're gonna take more look into the plugins functionalities. One of them is filtering events via tags. So for that, we need to visit our front-end side and then we will go to our event listing page. In here, we have our traditional event listing page with our filter and events listed over here. Something is new visible over here if you look closely, that's filter by tag section over here. In here, we have all the tags available that we used or added in our previous videos to our various events. They all are being listed over here. So how to filter events via tag? Pretty simple. All you have to do is click on one tag over here and our event listing page will filter events by those tags. It's not limited to one tag only. You can even select multiple tags over here like this. And you can even deselect one tag by re-clicking on them. Like if I wanna deselect the event tag over here that we already selected, we can click over here and that will remove the tag from the search query. Pretty simple. So this search is not limited to the filtered by tag only. When using filter by tag, you can also use this traditional filter over here. So these five filters over here can be used alongside with our filter by tag. So let's select a category here for just the demonstration. As you can see, I have selected game or competition as our website doesn't have any event that matches with these uh, tags we have selected over here. So it's not returning any such result as of now, but if your website had any event with the game or competition category and associated with any of the tags we selected, that would pop up over here in the search result. So this filter by tag and this traditional filters over here works harmoniously together. You can choose your tags configure your filters to find the unique and distinct events you are looking for in an event listing website. That gives your users more functionalities or power to filter out events on a large event listing website. This is pretty helpful if you are building an event listing marketplace. Suppose you have like a thousands of events listed on the website. So then the filter by tag add-on will come very handy for users in a feature scenario. So I hope you found this video somewhat useful. I explained you what the filter by tag is and how you can use it in our website. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And being that said, I'm Shara signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.